If you're like me, when you first got your Synology NAS, you were very skeptical of anything automatic, automatic updates, automatic reboots. Then a couple of months go by and you, I, got lazy and just put everything on auto. And by lazy, I mean you got comfortable with Synology being able to update their own products and your NAS usage could handle a reboot in the middle of the night. Hi, my name is Terry and this is TD Shared In Lab. Even though everything is on auto now, you still have one problem. You configured a bunch of encrypted shares and they don't automatically remount on a reboot. Let's go fix that with the key master. I mean, Ozzy and I have an appointment with um, <clears throat> the key master. You ever think you'd say that out loud? Key manager, Synology key manager. If there are any white collar fans out there, go ahead and leave your favorite white collar episode or quote down in the comments section. Now let's go dive into this configuration. I'm logged into my Synology. Step two, insert your flash drive. You can create a system partition to store the keys, but I prefer, and Synology recommends using a hardware USB key over a system partition because it's more secure. Step three, go to control panel, shared folder, encryption, key master, AKA key manager, and select the flash drive. You will have to create a passphrase, which is used as a password every time you need to modify the key manager. Step four, start importing your keys. By default, Synology goes in alphabetical order based off of your share name, so copy and paste until you're done. Step five, the point of this whole video is to get your shares to mount automatically on boot. Go ahead and click the box next to each share name to enable mounting on boot. And for step six, as an optional security item, you can also set it to automatically eject the flash drive after startup. The unofficial step seven, let's give this NAS a reboot here and make sure it all works. We can see the NAS shutting down, spinning, spinning. I'll fast forward this so we don't have to wait the 10 minutes it takes. And look at that, the shares are back up like expected. Now we can successfully automate our laziness, I mean comfort levels with Synology and their update processes with the key master. Damn it. Synology key manager, I will get that one of these days, hopefully, maybe, who knows. Neil, the key master came through. Thank you for watching this video. Links to all the products used are available in the description below. And for the record, Synology did not sponsor this video in any shape, form, or any other compensation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, keep building.